Hello there. Today we will talk about lichen. And let so there are three main types of lichen that mostly come up on our exams, which is lichen simplex, lichen planus, and lichen sclerosus. Now these names are pretty confusing, so we will talk about every one. Uh, uh, we will talk about each one of these. So lichen simplex is the most simplest one. If you have any continuous scratching or rubbing. It will ultimately lead to squamous cell hyperplasia and the skin will look just like shown in this picture. It will have a lichenified appearance. So that is why it is called as lichen simplex. Simplex because it simply forms because of a continuous scratching, rubbing or a continuous injury phenomena. For example, if a patient has atopic eczema, so those lesions are very itchy and the person keeps on scratching them. Ultimately, he or she may land onto lichen simplex. How we can prevent these? By simple use of emollients, or we can also prescribe some antihistamines to decrease the itching. Next, lichen planus. Now, these are autoimmune lesions which are present on, on a lot of parts of our body, mainly uh, mouth, and they can also be present on the mucosal lesions on the genitals and on the flexor surfaces. They appear as whitish plaques with white lacy pattern at the periphery. And as these are whitish plaques, so we obviously always need to rule out psoriasis in these cases. Normally these lesions are painless, but if they erode, ulcers are formed and those ulcers they can be very painful. So if they, uh, uh, in the genitalia, they normally involve vulva and vagina and it can, uh, the symptoms are mostly discharge, pruritus and postcoital bleeding. For its diagnosis, we need to do the biopsy as we have to rule out psoriasis and we can simply treat them by steroids. If it is left untreated, it can cause vaginal stenosis and that will ultimately lead to postcoital problems. Next is lichen sclerosis now again this is an autoimmune disease but we need to be very careful in picking these it has a very peculiar appearance and it hits a particular age group which is mostly the post menopausal females or older age group uh, the appearance is whitish finely wrinkled plaques as you can see in the above diagram the wrinkles and that parchment membrane like appearance then it also has a very characteristic, uh, it characteristically spares the vagina as opposed to lichen planus. So if you are seeing a lien that is not going into the vagina but is surrounding all around it, so that is most probably lichen sclerosis. And we cannot miss them because 4% of these women, they ultimately develop the squamous cell carcinoma of the skin. So that is why we need to do the lifetime surveillance and 6 monthly checkups. So we do six monthly checkups because if it is life, uh, if it is lichen planus, these are mostly uh, lichen planus is mostly um, self-limiting disease. So mostly in six months duration, those lesions they will go away on their own. But if it is lichen sclerosis, these are lifetime lesions and they mostly persist. And again, the treatment will be steroids. So that's all about lichen. If you have any questions, please post them down below. Thank you so much. Have a